Today we're diving into our second session about how to spot subscapularis tears when looking at axial images. On axial images, medial displacement of the long head of the biceps tendon is most commonly associated with subscapularis tendon tears. Specifically, interarticular dislocation of the biceps tendon strongly suggests a full thickness tear of the tendinous attachment to the lesser tuberosity. However, it is important to note that medial dislocation of the biceps tendon does not always imply a subscapularis tear. In rare cases, the biceps tendon may dislocate anteriorly and position itself anterior to an intact subscapularis tendon. I will upload the content later. Interarticular dislocation of the biceps tendon typically occurs when there is full thickness tear involving both the core cohumeral and superior glenohumeral ligaments, though these ligaments are not marked, concurrent with a full thickness tear of the superior subscapularis tendon fibers. The long head of the biceps tendon is absent from the bicipital groove and is instead displaced medially. Associated findings include a tear of the subscapularis tendon, specifically at its attachment to the lesser tuberosity. This coronal image shows the medial dislocation of the long head of the biceps tendon highlighted by the green arrow. Most commonly, the superior subscapularis tendon demonstrates a full thickness tear, while the inferior subscapularis tendon fibers remain attached to the lesser tuberosity and the surgical neck.